Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, May 7th, and I'm here at Quality Inn in Gatlinburg, wearing my rain gear because I'm doing laundry. So, uh, getting everything cleaned up. Obviously, this stuff doesn't really ever get washed, certainly not dried. So, this is what I wear when uh, I'm trying to do laundry, and there's no loaner clothes or anything like that. So, it's still for fairly early in the morning it's like 10 minutes till 7 something like that but I have found that especially with things like like laundry and stuff that's shared it's it's easier a whole lot easier to get it done first thing in the morning there's no lines no waiting around nobody messing with your stuff that kind of thing so anyway that's what I've been working on this morning and um, gonna take a zero here today I've got to go to the knock and get a new pair of shoes. They open at 10. So I'm going to get that knocked out. I got some stuff I'm going to send back home that I have not been using all that much. Um, my gloves, for one thing, I haven't used them at all. So, and it's, it should only be warming up. Um, anyway, I, I haven't used them. So they're going back. Uh, my gators are going back. They, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, if I, I may end up getting another pair at some point further on down the trail, but the pair I have just, they're, they're not very comfortable. Um, they're, they're made by outdoor research. They, they look nice, but, um, I think ultra makes some that are real low profile, almost kind of like kind of silky, basically just to keep the rocks and stuff out of your shoe. I may end up with a pair of those. I don't know. I'm not worried about it right now. I've been hiking the last couple of days in camp shoes with no gaiters and the world did not end. So uh, anyway, I'm sending those back. The Nightcore battery charger or bank that failed to charge, uh, that didn't work out. I've still been lugging it around. That's unnecessary weight. It's going back. Um, I think that's primarily it. Oh, and my, the shoes that I started the AT in, um, even though they don't, they don't fit anymore. For whatever reason, I want to hold on to them. I'm not going to hold on to every pair that I have throughout this journey, but the pair I started in, I don't know. I'm going to keep them. So they're going back. Anyway, so the plan is I'm going to get all this stuff together and at some point today go back to the knock. And they're usually pretty good about helping ship stuff to wherever you need it. They have boxes and stuff like that. So get all this organized and loaded up and um, put back in the, put in the mail, get it off my back. So anyway, I've been to Gatlinburg a whole bunch of times. I've, uh, so there's not really anything that I'm trying to do or see today. Just, uh, just mainly gonna do chores and get a game plan for getting back to the trail Maybe not hitchhike this time. <laughs> um, and uh, and that's about it. Eat. Probably eat a bunch. I've got a crazy appetite right now. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Talk to y'all later. So it's just a little after nine. And I'm walking down to the Walgreens here in Gatlinburg. The reviews on Far Out say that it's real hiker friendly. So I'm gonna walk down here and check it out. It said it's like 0.4 away from the hotel that I'm staying at, which uh, on a street, it sounds like nothing these days. So uh, anyway, so it'd be like 0.8 round trip, but that ain't bad. Anyway, I'm gonna go check it out and uh, see what I don't need. So the Walgreens here is pretty much like a small grocery store. They had everything you would need to resupply, minus like backpacking meals, like the Mountain House or Peak Meals or stuff like that. But I mean, you certainly don't have to have those. But uh, yeah, all kind of stuff. So I made it out of there with just some beef jerky sticks because I'm out of them and I like them. And uh, bought two bottles of water, uh, one liter and like a 700 milliliter 
the, the stuff, the, the ones that I carry on trail, just because the ones I have are getting kind of funky and decided to replace them. So that's it for now. Just uh, heading back to the room and uh, waiting to go get some shoes. All right, I'm here at the NOC in Gatlinburg to get a new pair of shoes. Now, when I hike, I hike in Njinji sock liners with uh, darn tough socks over the top of that. And that recipe has worked really well so far. And I'm gonna keep doing that. But I have all that stuff washed and on right now uh, to make sure that I get the best fit uh, when I get these new shoes. So that may seem like common sense to some people watching, but that's definitely what you want to do when you're uh, when you get new footwear. So I'm going to go in here and check everything out and hopefully leave with a new pair of tires, <laughs> new pair of shoes. So I am an 11 and a half wide now and uh, ended up getting a pair of Merrill Moab 3s uh, basically because that was the only thing they had in my size. They feel good, they're comfortable um, and who knows, that's, uh, that's it though, moving forward with those and uh, we'll see how they do. I have a pair of Merrells that I used to wear to work. They were always comfortable, so I'm not, uh, I don't have any kind of bad feelings about it. I totally came expecting to get a pair of Hoka's or Ultra's, but uh, just because they're light. These are not heavy or anything, but anyway, ended up with these and uh, feeling good about it. In case you're wondering what it looks like during a stop in town, I say gear explosion. Just everything laid out, airing out. Everything's clean. Trying to get organized. Got food and stuff. And uh, that's pretty much uh, what we got going on. And it's another night of CC's Pizza. For the price and the calorie load, you just can't beat it. What's up? Tonight, got it to go.